We are back with the one and only Edith Stein, or St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She's sort of like a triple threat. I mean, she was born into a Jewish family. She was an incredibly gifted philosopher and later on became a Carmelite. I mean, what a woman. Looking back on her life, her faith was not always as strong as it was when she died in the gas chambers at Auschwitz. Although she was raised in a Jewish family, she stopped believing in God by the age of 14. However, as she grew in her interest in philosophy and became a philosopher, she was introduced to the works of St. Teresa of Avila, which transformed her faith, her spirituality, her belief in the existence of God. So much so that she was converted and baptized at the age of 30. 11 years later, our friend Edith joined the Carmelites and took the name Sister Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. And when the Nazis conquered Holland, she was arrested along with her sister and later died at the age of 51 in a gas chamber. And although she was put to death because of her Jewish roots and the persecution during the Holocaust, when I look at her life, what I am most inspired by is her willingness to be molded and transformed by the truth of God. She didn't convert and join the church until the age of 30, even though she grew up in a religious household. She was introduced to God, rejected God, and then eventually came back. And that gives me hope for myself that the truth is always willing to transform me, that by the grace of God, I can continue to change and be transformed and be reintroduced over and over again to the love of God, that it's not just a one and done, I've met him and I know him and that's all there is for me, but God is always pursuing us. He pursued St. Teresa all the days of her life. And even though it took her 30 years to be fully united with him through his church, it doesn't change the love that he had for her every single day throughout her life. This love that sustained her during the hardest times during deep suffering and persecution that inspired her to join the convent, to enter a religious community, to pursue her vocation and the fulfillment of her heart that God had planned for her. This is the same love that is available to you and I. So today, to celebrate our sweet friend, St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, let's ask the Lord to increase our trust, to increase our openness to Him, to be transformed by whatever He's calling us to, that we would be open and willing to receive His grace, just like Edith Stein. St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, pray for us. See you next time on Saint Stories Summer. Bye!